this video. I'm going to be uh, kind of talking about what's going through my head during the 1500 meter at Lynchburg. Uh, 1500 is not my main event, but uh, I just happened to be on a lot of this live stream. And I, it's just it's like, oh, well, it might be a good video idea just for some content. So I uh, hope you all enjoy it and uh, let's jump right in. Here we are at the start of the race and uh, I didn't get the best of starts right here. But I mean, it was my plan to not go out too fast and to like hang back just a tad because I didn't want to start out in like a 32 or one on an accident and just like have lactate like already built up in like the first 200 meters because I feel like my lactic threshold or my lactic buffer or whatever is not very good and so coming around the turn I'm still I'm kind of boxed in because I'm wanting to start to get around people now that we've kind of settled in just a little bit but I had to basically start jogging and then let everyone pass me and then I'm right there on the outside going around people now so I'm trying to work my way up the pack a little bit it was uh it was my plan before the race to like make that first lap not quite as aggressive and then go really aggressive at the second lap because I wanted to set myself up at the 800 to be like right where I wanted or maybe even a little faster to give myself some buffer room so right here I wasn't necessarily planning on doing this before the race but uh I just kind of was filling out the pace and just decided I was like I was like why not go take the lead just to take take my race into my own hands I wasn't really racing tactically here I was racing for a PR so it's just like if it backfired on me it was gonna backfire but I wanted to make sure I left it out there and gave myself a chance to PR because I don't I don't like uh running off people and then feeling like oh I could have did this or that better to PR it's just like I just want to go hard so I was taking the race into my own hands here and uh I'm already starting to feel a little tired at eight or not eight that's at 700 but coming in right there I was already feeling a little tired but I was just like well you took an aggressive move and you took the lead I was like you can't already fall back so I, I felt the people on my back so I just kept pushing the pace and I'm coming through right around my goal I think I was around 213 here I was wanting to hit at least 214 so I was a little faster than what I actually wanted but that that's a good thing I just I wanted to give myself a chance to run under 410 because that's my goal in this race because uh in college I haven't really ran the 1500 up the part of my other events my best it's my senior year basically and I'm uh my technical PR and before this race is like a 418 which is like a 436 equivalent and I've started a 3k and 436 before so obviously I feel like I should be running a 1500 faster than 418 so I'm trying to put that on display today and show that my my 1500 isn't completely pathetic compared to my other races and I'm going into the bell lap here. Now I'm just like digging everything I got left. I wasn't really planning on saving anything for the final hundred or anything. Like I just wanted to kick from from the line to line the last 400. I was trying to just run an all out kick right here. And I started gapping everyone, which I wasn't really aware of how much of a lead I had. I just kind of assumed that everyone was still on my heels. And, uh, I, I either slowed down a little bit this last two or they picked it up, which I think they just picked it up because uh, I think my last lap was around 64. But uh, yeah, you can see my teammate Raheem right here is uh, he's catching me pretty quickly. He's got some good foot speed, so don't really want to leave it up to a kick battle with him because he's, he's got the foot speed. And right here, I think I realize he's passing me now and I'm just like, oh shoot, he's flying. And uh he dusts me that last like 75, 50 meters. He runs a 408. I come through 409. Nate's like 412. Preston 413. So I was proud of the way all four of us ran this race. So post-race thoughts. I was really happy with this. It was a nine-second PR. It's the first 1500 in college that I really felt like I'd even ran anywhere close to my ability in this event. I feel like I might go a few seconds faster if I worked on it. But like I said, it's not my main event. So I probably won't run another one this year. But, uh, you know, overall, I was really happy with it. And uh, I think all four of my teammates PR'd too, so congrats to them. And, 
this is my first race wearing my Nike Dragonflies, so shout out to those, and uh, I think they helped me a little bit. They felt really good in this race. I'll race them a few more times, and I might give like a more in-depth opinion on them, like at the end of the season or something. But uh, got the 10K this weekend at High Point. It might be a windy one, so uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, just remember, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching this video.